Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at bringing physics back out of the classroom. You will need. You will need. You will need. You will need. A self-referential montage. The idea of underdog physics came out of what I perceived to be the decrease of accessibility of physics outside the classroom. Take the good old cloud in a bottle experiment, for example. I thought we would do something that's uh, simple to do. You'll head to the garage and, and find some things. But let me show you the cloud in the bottle. Okay. In order to make a cloud, yeah, normally it would be just water. But here's what I'm using is rubbing alcohol. Ah. Okay. So that's perfect. Okay. Got it? So if I hold on to this. Oh, and let me show the camera the stopper. I'm going to hold it really, really still so oh, you can I see. see. This, this apparatus? Yeah, yeah. So I just took a, a valve stem. Wait. It's a tire valve stem that okay. you can find at like a... Um, you know, check your auto part, that, okay. that kind of place, right. you know. So I need to go to the hardware store for for a what? The tire valve stem that okay. you find at like a... Um, yeah, I, I don't know what... You know, check your auto part, that, okay. that kind of place, right. you know. Talk about killing off the whole do-it-yourself aspect. It's kind of ironic that a home experiment can fall into the trap of being a practical which you can't actually do at home. Okay, fine. I'm being a bit cynical, but as physics teachers, we know that the kind of physics we'd like our students to aim for, no thanks to curriculum design, is undergraduate degree level physics. The kind of experimental apparatus required for that doesn't actually exist in the average household home. Especially not mine. You know, I mean in an accessible, jiggery, pokery, fiddly kind of form. As a result, some A-level and GCSE practicals are practically impossible to do outside the lab. I digress. Following many conversations with the PGCE gang over the past year, I see the physics teacher role as something of two halves. The first being pushing those future scientists against the highest levels of their understanding to prepare them for careers in science. And also the other half to help those students who want to go in a different direction to develop an understanding and appreciation of science, or in this case, our case, physics, which they can apply to everyday life, because it's useful. So before I come to the main point of my argument, I want to make it abundantly clear that we, as physicists, already have an advantage over the other two sciences in terms of practical equipment. After all, it's unlikely that my experiment will run into a brick wall because I don't have the required neat chemicals to do the experiments, or a family pet has had a change of heart about being sacrificed. And yes, I mean to say biology isn't just about carrots. Your challenge is to join the Physics Underdog on its quest to take physics back out of the classroom. Use things you actually have around the house that you don't need to go beyond testing for. And prove that when we say physics is everywhere, woohoo! It blooming well is. Good luck.